Welcome to the best incorporated soldering tip of the day. This demonstration is going to be performed by Norman Meir, Master IPC Trainer. Today's tip is the bump tack method. To carry out the procedure, you will need a chisel soldering tip, tin lead eutectic solder in .015 diameter, and no clean flux. A tack is used to temporarily hold the component in place while the remaining leads or terminations are soldered. A bump tack is used when residual solder remains on the board from a previous solder connection or when the operator wishes to fill the pad with solder before connecting the component. The first step in any soldering procedure is to clean the board. Using isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth, wipe the site to be soldered. Using no clean flux, flux the area to be soldered. Place the solder wire diagonally across the pad to be filled so that the wire is approximately equal to the pad size. Contact the solder wire and pad with the iron and then remove the iron. Next, align the component. While some misalignment is allowed, it is a good practice to align the component to the best of your ability. Using no clean flux, flux the area to be soldered. With a tweezers or other fine pointed device, gently hold the component in place. Using a clean soldering iron, contact the termination of the component, the solder, and the pad at the same time. The component will drop down into the solder. Remove the iron and allow the solder to cool. The component is now tacked to the circuit board. At this point in the procedure, the board can be rotated and processed as necessary. This has been a best incorporated soldering tip of the day, the bump tack method. For more information, tips, and training, please visit our website at www.solder.net.